Nigeria has one of the lowest tax ratios globally. Its tax to GDP uh, measure currently stands at 6.1%, but the federal government says it is targeting an increase to 18% by 2020. Absolutely. Well, to this end, the federal government has identified and is currently auditing more than 800,000 companies, including some of its contractors that have defaulted in the payment of taxes. Now, according to the finance minister, Kemi Adyoshu, Nigeria has only 14 million active taxpayers from an economically active base of 70 million. Now, more than 95% of the 14 million active taxpayers are salary earners in the formal sector and just 241 persons paid personal income taxes of 20 million naira in 2016. Now the Ministry of Finance has now started a database project that combines data uh, from the various arms of government including bank records, property and company ownership and customs records to assist the ministry uh, create accurate profiles of those liable uh, to pay taxes. And of course, joining us at this time to talk more about this is Tunde Gafaro, is a tax expert. Good morning to you and thank you for joining us on the show. Good morning. Yes. Good to yes. see you. Imagine the potential of getting at least 70 million people into the tax net in the country. What that would do uh, for revenue generation in Nigeria. But then sadly, just uh, 14 million uh, people are active taxpayers. Mm. How sad is that? Well, very sad, but it's not peculiar to this country alone. It's all over the world, everybody tries to evade tax one way or the other. But here, uh, if we try to segment the, the populace into formal and informal sectors of, mm -hmm. of the economy, uh, you will discover that a lot of people are still outside the, outside the dragnet of, uh, of tax. And therefore, efforts must be made to bring in as, as more people as possible into the drag to the net dragnet, so that the the target of the government can be met. And we have been told in several fora that the former sector tried to evade tax. Of course, we, we all know that evading tax is not is not um, avoiding tax is not a, is not a crime really. It is not the, evading. It is, yes. it, it is evading tax. Mm. So. The companies, the former sector, do all they can to try to avoid tax as much as possible, and I can't blame them. Okay, so with this discovery now of 800,000 companies yes. uh, defaulting in taxes and all of that, and uh, the government uh, seems to be waking up uh, to, uh, you know, the idea of ensuring that these people and others who have been defaulting actually mm. do pay uh, their taxes. So, um, what exactly? I mean, you say that. Uh, you can't blame government, if I got you right. Who's to blame for this um, situation of things when Nigerians don't pay taxes? And like you said, everybody el everywhere does not want to pay taxes. Mm. Yeah. Well, what we can do and in all respects is to encourage people to pay tax. Do as much as possible. It's a lot of uh, um, sensitization and law people into, into paying tax because nobody voluntarily once we pay tax. Mm. Now, I, the ministry have done a lot by launching the voluntary access and income, income declaration. And mm -hmm. that one ends in July, it starts at, started at July 1st and it's likely to go end March. on 31st of, of March next year. Next year. Mm -hmm. That will go a long way. But we need to find out what we can do to bring more people into the, and into talking, the talking about people trying to avoid paying taxes, it seems that it's, it's become a culture. So the government uh, has a, a problem at, in, in its hands already. Uh, Finance Minister Kemi Adjoshu just in, in today's papers uh, said that uh, uh, defaulting companies, now, these Vades com defaulters. Apart, no, apart from these def defaulters, mm. that there are companies that under declared their earnings. Uh, and they wanted mm -hmm. to even, you know, capitalize on the VAID uh, uh, window, but instead they didn't even come out clean uh, to the government and they declared their earnings, so they would pay uh, a little amount, that le way lesser than what they're supposed to pay uh, if they made their true earnings known. Government must have to go to think outside, outside the box to find out what exactly the, the state of affairs of a company is. As I said, mm. All of them want to evade tax. You, you will discover that most companies they prepare 
three or four annual accounts, one for the tax people, mm -hmm. one for the management, one for the shareholders. And all this, these accounts, they, they bear different profit, profit levels. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the government needs to go you know, a little step into finding out how they can track these people down. Well, Many does cases. government even have the, the wherewithal? Uh, government yes, is saying can. that you know, it wants to get this all-important uh, database uh, to know who uh, should be paying tax and who is not and how they can actually enforce uh, uh, you know, payment of taxes. Yes. Uh, well, they, they're trying to work in conjunction with the banks. Uh, the, the introduction of the BVN is, mm -hmm. is, 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 is a step in the right direction. If we can get the banks to cooperate fully with the BVN, we can really know. We mm -hmm. can, particularly the former sector. We are talking about the former sector. That is, you are talking about the corp Public register companies. companies. Mm -hmm. But a lot Informal? of money is still, uh, you know, in the former sector. Mm -hmm. if, if, the, if we can, as I was thinking last time, if we can, if the banks can develop a, a, a network of um, maybe a software. Mm -hmm. that can connect the BVN with the name. Because once you can get a software that wants to slot the, the name of a person mm -hmm. and, is, and, and, and the BVN, mm -hmm. it should be able to give you all the all the information in all the banks. Mm -hmm. Because if you ask for his bank, it probably will give you only one bank mm -hmm. where he has the least amount. Mm -hmm. But if you, if, you, if you do the software, you can That's have... That's why BVN card uh, was issued to many. Most Nigerians have their BVN. I know I have. Uh, it's not just about <laughs> linking the accounts together. You're supposed to get a BVN card yes. that you'd present uh, at any point in time. Oh, you, don't, you don't have to do... do you keep your... Pre you don't in case. I'm saying that... Yeah. Could that but you see, the, the, the point is, nobody can keep money at home. That's the limit to the How amount of money keep? you can keep at home. So mm. the, it is in the bank's faults. Mm. I mean, what the banks to help them to keep those funds in so many un unidentified accounts. Mm. Now, the point I'm making is that once you have the BVN, if you can develop a, a software that will enable the bank to link the BVN with the, with the names, which is true, and mm -hmm. down to the accounts that they, they are holding in all the banks, mm. then we, are, we shall be, because there is hardly anybody who, do, who don't use the banks. Even, even the market women, they use the bank as well. Well, but there's mm. still so many unbanked Nigerians out there sure. who really should be in the tax net, but mm. they are not. So that's another uh, problem of course, that's, in itself. That's a, that's but of course, uh, government says it's going to employ the services of a top private investigator uh, from abroad to actually, um, you know, trace uh, some of these um, information that mm. is required to ensure that people don't default, at least to the barest minimum. No, they, they don't have Do to we go need abroad. That? They, don't, they don't have to go abroad. But yeah. they're doing that. Yeah, we, they, they are doing that mm -hmm. because initially um, they they have sent people out to go and get uh, information from people. From you know, they do clandestinely. They do it. But we are, what, was, what we are saying, what, what we are advising, mm -hmm. is a direct, a direct formula, a direct mm -hmm. instruction that, and a direct process whereby those who are not already in the tax net can be brought in. Mm -hmm. So it's not a matter of um, doing um, wooly wooly type of... Uh, <laughs> That's uh, quite cumbersome yeah. and more expensive. Yes, and more expensive. But there must be a system mm -hmm. which must be developed by the federal okay. government. What about Nigerians that have been accused or, or Nigerians that are stashing funds abroad so, and they are under declaring their earnings within the country? Uh, Paradise Papers is already leaking some names. Well, again, that, that, is, the, that is the job the federal government have to do. There is a lot of tax havens all over the place, mm -hmm. offshore tax havens. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people put their money. In fact, recently I was reading the papers, was it on the, on the news too? Mm -hmm. They mentioned the names of those, co the names of those countries that are tax havens. Yes. So people put their money, there. even the Queen of England put his money there. Mm -hmm. So money. when you put your money there, the, 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 the answer of the tax, <laughs> tax, the tax, tax man, man doesn't, get, doesn't, doesn't get there. Mm -hmm. now how, do, how, do, how do we go around that one? It's a bend that we have to find a way of going around it because we have to encourage the government of those countries okay. to, to stop making their, their countries a tax haven. <laughs> but the they're making their countries a, a tax haven because of their they're own... They're making money. You know, it, it's for their own economy. Yeah, yeah, it's their own self-interest. What is detrimental? Yeah. Even Switzerland that was doing it mm -hmm. before, 
with uh, you know, all these number accounts in yes. Switzerland. Yes. They, 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 they too are trying to change they are their laws now. They are, mm. they are thinking. So okay, now government has said, you know, that this abuse of overly generous tax incentives yes. and duty waiver system. Mm. Now, so can Nigeria afford to continue along this path? Of course, w with VAIDs now, is it still not the same thing? Mm. I think the, the first thing we have to uh, really have to talk to government about is the amount of waivers. Mm. The amount of waivers is, is more than 70% of the tax they are collecting. A lot of people take do, uh, goods out of, out of uh, the ports without paying. Mm. They get waivers from the government, the mm. same government, they get waivers from them. Mm. If, they, if they stop waivers, believe you me, a lot of money will come in. Mm. And um, they, they, of course, when it comes to other indirect taxes, maybe the custom, the custom duties and mm -hmm. the rest of them, you will now discover that smuggling will reduce. And because if, if we can reduce some taxes in some, on, on certain goods, okay. so all, all the taxes that should have come to us, which is now being enjoyed by a numbering country because of more generous taxes, mm -hmm. we come to Nigeria and, the, and overall, we shall be better off. Many uh, some uh, analysts have been saying that a political friendship is even causing a problem for Nigeria in its um, tax uh, revenue generation drive. Which could lead uh, to the, the tax uh, waivers that we're we're talking we're talking about. about. Yeah, so yes. uh, giving company, exa for example, a new company just. Uh, um, a cable company uh, just got launched uh, a few months back and it rolled out at the beginning of this month. Mm -hmm. And then the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, and announced that. that. Yeah, given so years, so boldly and so? happily that, yes, <laughs> that we are giving this company three years tax holiday. And IMF said, stop giving companies tax holiday. What is the international company see in, agency seeing that somehow the government that is crying that it wants to generate more tax internally is it's not seeing? Is it about point? political friendship as so many people are saying? That particular... Um, announcement by the minister baffled al almost all tax experts because they hope that you'll be, you'll be, there'll be tax holiday for, to, to induce them. Look, this country, Africa in particular, is this the best even for people to make money? This, this is the only place where people make more than 10% of, of their capital. Yeah. He, in this country, people make 200%. That's why they are here. Absolutely. And therefore, what are you inducing them by tell, telling them again that Oh yes, I can give you uh, waivers. You, you are tax holiday. Mm -hmm. They are making a lot of money in this country, and unless we realize that, we should stop this tax holiday. Whoever does not want to invest in this country can stay off. Uh, well, I've mm -hmm. heard a foreigner who said, "Look, you pick. You actually pick money uh, on mm -hmm. the streets of Nigeria." Yeah. Yeah. So okay. how, how, do, how do you add to it? You add to their profit by giving their waivers. The tax, IMF tax has holiday. said to the Nigerian government, "Tax the rich. It's the way to go." And you, you wonder. I mean. How infinitesimal is the number of, I mean, I mean, of reach really? How much impact would that make to the tax drive? Uh, let us take census of uh, rich men in Nigeria. How many of them? In real terms, apart from Nagote and, uh, and uh, Glow, Glow Man and the rest of them. They, they, they are very few. So you don't think mm. it will make much difference? No, no. Look, let us talk with us. Well, there are silent millionaires and even billionaires in Nigeria. In, in the real sense, they are not... They don't want to be known. Look, they, 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 I agree with you. Is it even about that, or we don't even just simply have their data? Data, we don't, we we don't have their data. True. 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 But, True. but they, keep the, money they, yeah. they still keep the money in the banks anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we can get the BVN... Right. Right. Mm. And be able to connect it properly with the banks, mm. the banks can help us to, to identify the, mil the silent mil millionaires. Mm. Because the BVL will, will throw their accounts open from all the from all the banks that they are holding on, mm -hmm. and of course we can pursue the government can pursue those who are in tax service offshore. Someone asked me, uh, Aziz, that I wonder if our politicians uh, pay tax because mm -hmm. they earn a lot from the system. Uh, uh, should we be surprised if we? investigate and find out that these people do not may pay not even be paying pay the because taxes. they make a lot of money annually so if you're, we're talking about uh, boosting the economy from within of course the government uh, said that it's going to be increasing tax on uh, luxury items being imported to nigeria but then letting every member of the society pay tax especially those that are making money it's not all, it's not only politicians that are making money a lot of other people are making money uh, the actors are making money the the those in to the tourism are making money Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, the, even the, the angels or, or the mm -hmm. proprietors of uh, ICT 
development now. They are making mm. a lot of money. Mm. And you can make money in ICT without necessarily having a, 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 a staff. You, can, you, can, you don't even need an office. Mm, true. With your laptop, you can, you can sit under the tree and, and still make money. So there are a lot of them like that. So if you want to go the whole hog. It's all about data. It's not, yeah, it's all about data. It's all about data. It's not data. only politicians. Now, in, so in, making, in making her speech, uh, uh, Kemi Adeoshun, the finance minister, mm. said something that's really, really curious. And I'm wondering if really that is the case. That Nigeria is not an oil uh, nation. That Nigeria should not equate itself with countries like Saudi Arabia and all of that. Have we just been living in uh, in a bubble all these years, thinking that we're an oil mm. oil nation? Yes, we are. We have been because when we first discovered oil, somebody told us that money is not a problem to Nigerians. It's how to spend it's how it. How to spend it. So, mm. and we, we followed up with that with that maximum up to this moment mm. until problems started in Nigeria Delta. And, uh, and the oil was dwindling, the prices was falling, then, then we look back and say, hey, come on, what's happening? So I think the oil, as uh, the discovery of oil, is not a, is not a good um, woman to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it made us to even forget ourselves and look, look down on some other areas like mm -hmm. agriculture where you can make a lot of money mm -hmm. so it, it, that's the problem but how commendable is it really for this administration in generating revenue so far it seems that the government is passionate about uh, getting many people taxable people into the tax net so about 10 million that exactly, that's what it's actually projected yes uh, that, yeah that, that's 14 is being even anyways, it's by, let's let's continue to do the education i think they have been back on educating the people tell them how much they are going to Benefit. Benefit. Because the argument, which I always try to dis dis disagree with, is, is they always work on a narrow path of corruption. That, oh, mm. their taxes, you know, they cannot see it. Mm. They cannot, they, they, there's no justification for, for paying taxes. Mm. Of course, um, yes, it might say that, but if, if you take Lagos, for example, I'm not talking about other states. Uh, for everybody who wants to pay tax, genuinely wants to pay tax, you can see some. Efforts, little efforts by the, by the state government to show you um, where your tax goes. Yeah. In terms of good roads, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of health facilities, schools, and the rest of them. So, in other words, government doesn't even need to talk too much in terms of trying to convince people. We, uh, if we, you provide we, with we, whatever we, is available and people really see it, yes, then that, that in yes. itself people, be, but, uh, will be, convince but people. But people will argue everywhere yes. with that. They can see. What the tax, what the tax uh, is, where is the tax going, going, into. Is going Okay. And therefore, they are not Can a point to pay. Can we end this discussion without talking about collusion from tax uh, people themselves and internal revenue agencies who are, you know, uh, FIRS. part of the problem? Um, you, you keep them out of it because there is unwillingness on the part of taxpayer to pay. So it's not a matter of collusion. They, 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 they try to hide. The, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a tax consultant and, and I do. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm also a tax consultant, and, and I do, um, and uh, I'm, I'm also a, 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 a monitoring agent for the government. They hide a lot of facts, and if you, when you discover, they, they probably they, they, they don't mind packing packing up their business and relocating. Mm. <laughs> so the tax man is now they have to get some money for the government. They have to tarry, you know, tarry a little, you know. T Land, let him last off. That means the tax man needs to be equipped to be able to, <coughs> to actually unravel some yes. of these things that are being some, some right, people were we'll trained to. Uh, to that effect, especially yeah. after commencing yes. rates, uh, to yes. be able to track uh, people down. Yeah, about 7,000 yes. or so of them. Yeah. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Tunde Gafar is a tax expert. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. Thank uh, you very much. Of course, uh, we'll be discussing even more on these issues yeah. as time goes on.